Has there ever been something in your life you really wanted, and after thinking it through thoroughly, you still really wanted it? Then it's important to take action and do what's necessary to achieve that goal. There's no substitute for action. The bigger the dream, the greater the action we must take. Hi, my name is Lauren Grace, and I'm from the Rainforest Art Project. And this is a story of the great Western landscape artists who, over 150 years ago, took extraordinary risks to create breathtaking paintings of our expanding country. It's through their courageous actions that Americans in the East were able to see for the first time the majesty and beauty of these remote national treasures. While many artists of the era were content to be working in their studios, making portraits or still life paintings, there was a small group who were willing to undergo tremendous hardships in order to follow through with their dream and capture America's most spectacular natural vistas on their canvases. Early explorers to the Western wilderness returned with fantastic stories that, for many Easterners, seemed too amazing to be true. Although Thomas Moran and Albert Bierstadt moved to America from Europe when they were very young, they loved the United States, and it was through their remarkable paintings that people around the world would see for the first time just how stunning these great monuments of nature really are. Photography had been invented about 30 years earlier, but black and white photos could not tell the whole story. So it was up to these artists to show the brilliant color and vitality of these panoramic regions. The idea of preserving large areas of wilderness as a national park is credited to the artist George Catlin, based on his drawings and writings from 1832. He was deeply concerned about the negative impact of westward expansion on the Native Americans, the wildlife population, and the pristine wilderness. This inspired him to urge the government to protect vast areas of land by designating them as national parks. Beginning in 1863, Albert Bierstadt began exploring Yosemite in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California, and in 1871, Thomas Moran took the long journey from the East Coast to the newly discovered Yellowstone region in Wyoming. Both men accompanied survey teams who were sent by the government to study and document these wild territories. Thomas Moran and Albert Bierstadt created giant panoramic paintings that were meant to provide the viewer with a very realistic feeling for the overwhelming vastness and grandeur of the Western landscape. These awe-inspiring works of art were exhibited across America and Europe, and were eagerly viewed by large audiences who wanted to feel the thrill and adventure of Western exploration through the eyes of these artists. The instant popularity of these paintings resulted in the fame and success of Moran and Bierstadt. But through their positive actions on behalf of these natural marvels, something extraordinary was about to happen. The beauty of these masterfully painted landscapes had inspired a renewed interest in preserving the American wilderness, and they became instrumental in establishing Yellowstone as the first national park in 1872. The sketches that Moran had created were circulated through the halls of Congress as proof of the spectacular beauty of the Yellowstone region, and were considered the most important exhibits in influencing Congress to create the new national park. In 1890, Albert Bierstadt's dream came true, as Congress approved the creation of Yosemite National Park. Bierstadt died 12 years later in 1902, and by the time Thomas Moran died in 1926 at the age of 89, there were an amazing total of 16 national parks. Today, there are 58 national parks to provide inspiration and recreation for millions of visitors from around the world. All thanks to artists like George Catlin, Albert Bierstadt, and Thomas Moran, who had the courage to follow through and take action to achieve their goals. This is Lauren Grace signing off with the Rainforest Art Project, changing the world one piece of art at a time.